She won't find her anything. Sister Driscoll, it ought to be those things that God promised you. If you're going to draw your sword for any reason, it be, should be in the face of your adversary. If you're going to defend anything, fight for anything, it ought to be a righteous and a holy lifestyle yes. that you're fighting for. Yes, right. If you're going to make a stand, it ought to be a stand for holiness. Right. Paul said, but I see another law in my members. Warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. If you're going to consume yourself in battle, it should be the battle that brings your flesh under subjection to the Spirit. Yeah. You see, here, I've come to this conclusion in being pastor and living for God and observing people, and I don't think the problem so much today is with sin. What are you talking about, preacher? I don't think the problem in our churches has so much to do with people being tempted to go out and get them a bottle and start drinking it. Get them a drug and go out and start shooting up. I don't think the problem with churches today is so much people just want to do all those worldly things and just can't help themselves. I don't think that's the main problem today. But Brother Andrew, you know what I think the main problem with church today is? Can I tell you how I feel today? I think the problem with churches today is a simple fact that we lack that word that is so essential and necessary in living for God. The problem today is our people lack the commitment. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, it's the truth and you know it. People lack commitment to the battle. Yes, people lack commitment to an old-fashioned altar. Yes, Come, on. Come on, you ain't hearing me just yet. I said people lack commitment today.
I want to recommit myself to the battle. I want to commit myself to my man of God. I want to let him know that I'm behind him. And whatever he needs, I'm willing to do it because this is a battle worth fighting for. If he needs me to clean the toilets, I'll clean the toilets. If he needs me to wash the windows, I will wash the windows. If he needs me to mow the lawn, I'll mow the lawn. If he needs me to do whatever it is that he has need of, honey, because this is a battle worth fighting for. Ah, you want to get out and find somebody and teach them a Bible study because it's a battle worth fighting for. You want to beat the streets. The Bible said to go in the highways, the byways, and the hedges that compel them to come in. Honey, it's a battle worth fighting for. Honey, you want to do your very best that in this sanctuary, you're going to have a move of God every service because it's a battle worth fighting for. That when you come to the house of if nobody else is dancing and nobody else is worshiping, you're going to do it anyway because it's a battle worth fighting for. These altars are open today. Honey, we need to find our way back to that place of real commitment. Come on, it's time to pray today in Jesus.